Man, I'll be so tired. I'll be wanting to do extra stuff on the weekend, but coaching all week and working all week. Be so tired. <laughs> Why are you so tired of coaching? Coaching is easy. Coaching is easy when you've got older kids that you don't have to actually fuss at, tell them, and yell at them, make them understand, hey, stop talking and playing. Stop playing around. I remember when Dedrick was so hyped when when he first started coaching. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my, the flag, when I was coaching flags. You have to set the tone immediately as a coach. Yeah. Like day one, you have to set the tone. What's acceptable and what's not acceptable. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I understand. Uh-huh. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. These Hawaiian kids are a different breed. I set the stuff. I, I I set the tone. I tell them what's up. But guess what? They still talk. Still pay attention. And they don't pay attention doing up downs or they're doing gas or, or running then they come back and do the exact same thing do you have a set schedule like periods and stuff yeah like the same routine yeah every day yeah did you name captains yet no not yet name the captains immediately none of them they're t- no they're 10 they're 8 9 and 10 <laughs> it's okay it's not it does not <laughs> matter this <laughs> you have to understand football and kids to understand that if you lame captains and make captains responsible for doing what they're supposed to do, the rest of the kids will follow. Yes, they're eight, nine, and ten. Kids follow the leader. Have you ever heard of that game? Kids follow, follow the, the leaders. Leader. Kids follow the leaders naturally. The, the leaders that come out naturally. If you say if if you give, and then next thing you know, I don't want to listen to him because. He doesn't know. It. I'm like, it's no, this. They're eight, nine, and 10 year olds in Hawaii. I can now, if they were like maybe 10, 11, 12, that's totally different because you have your leaders, you can do all that stuff. But these kids are in the third, fourth, and fifth grade. You can still teach it. They're that's, like that's, wild animals right now. That's old enough for them to understand. They're wild. wild they're, okay. This, they're old enough to understand routine. They're old enough to understand yeah, routine. Routine, routine, is, routine is something different than than assigning captains and making put somebody in charge. No, it's <laughs> not about making in charge. That's what I'm trying to explain to you, Mr. No, coach. No, <laughs> Do you no. not know how to coach football? Yes, I know how to coach football. But what well, do you coach. know? What do you know? What the captains do? Yeah, the captains are the ones who pretty much keep everybody in line. No, they lead by example. If you put captains in the front to do jumping jacks, guess what everybody else is going to do? They're going to follow the captains and do jumping jacks. If you put the captains in front and tell them to do jumping jacks and do squat thrusts. You pick the wrong captain. <laughs> that's on the coach. Yes. No. That's all of them. <laughs> None of them do. Like, and it's not just me. It's not just it's me. Not squat thrusts. <laughs> it's not. It's not just me. That, that like... When I'm coaching them, all the other coaches, the 12 year old coaches and the 14 year old coach coaches, when I'm coaching them, when we finish, they come over like, and I feel for you. I feel for you because <laughs> uh, it sounds like they set you up, did you? It sounds like you gotta be a special, you gotta be a special person to coach them 10 year olds. That's how you that's and that's exactly why you the head coach. They hit you with the okie. Get, they hit him with the new guy. Bring in the new guy. Make him the head coach. <laughs> Give him those kids. <laughs> well, for real, just just try it one time. Cause you know Joe doesn't gonna listen to you. No, no, he's the worst. <laughs> well, then you're he's screwed. He's the worst one. <laughs> well, then you're screwed. There's nothing you can do now. You should just um hang up your coat whistle. No, no, I'm gonna keep coaching him. But Joe is. I'm like, okay, cool, Joe. I give him a pep talk before we leave. Before we leave, um, <laughs> out. Like, Joe, I need you to give me hundred ten percent. I need you to like listen and do everything that I do, and let the other kids follow you. And he's like, okay, 
What's happening? We running plays. The squat thrust. <laughs> <laughs> we run it because we all warm up together. Like the tens, twelves, and fourteens do all our warm ups together, and then we split off. Like they they understand the offense. They know the plays when it's time to get down and do what they need to do and run the plays. They know they know what they're doing, but it's just getting to that point to like. Okay. Oh yeah, y'all need to y'all need y'all need to split up. Y'all can't warm up. Y'all can't warm up together. But I mean, when it comes to like when it comes to stretching and warm ups, that's how the organization is run. Like everybody warm up together, and then we split up, split off. We do fourteen oh, yeah. like one like Mondays. Fourteens are on offense, working offense. Tens and twelves are working defense. Tuesdays is flip. And Wednesdays is special teams and scrimmage. See, that's man. I wish I, I need to write. I need to write y'all um, coach y'all practice script just for one day. Why you say that? Just for one day because y'all need to. You, you have to. When after stretching, you gotta blow that whistle and say "Indy time," yeah. and run to the different drills. We you do. have to we run do. and. And that's like we started. That's what like we're doing that now. When I go all offense and defense, that's when we break up into our indies and everybody go to their different offensive and defensive um, um, positions or whatnot. And then we run our indies. We do our indies for um, about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. And then we switch. And then we come together. We run over the, the full offense and run over full defense. Yeah, it was. Hey, look, the whole team was messing up the, um, last week. The coach was like, "Look, y'all, one more word away from doing up downs the entire practice." <laughs> so, how look, long y'all been practicing? This is what week six. Oh man, y'all in week six? Yeah. When y'all first game? Um, the twelve fourteens played this week this Saturday. Oh, our tens played um next Saturday. So do you still have to walk them through the drills? No, they know all the drills. They know all, like all, as soon as we line up, they know what drills we're going to be doing. Um, Cause I'm like doing on, on defensive back, but. um. So, so if they know the drills, what's the, what's wrong with them talking? As long as they get the, in line and do well, what they're supposed to do. Because when it's time, like it's, it'd be like the, the ones that are talking, when it's time for them to come up and do their drill, Oh, which way we running? What we do? Run that way. Touch that, the yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what you tell. That's, That's what you tell them. <laughs> yeah. As soon as they get it, as soon as the, the drill start, if you get up here and ask a question, you don't know what's going on, just take off. <laughs> That's Straight it. up. That's how you got to go. Hey, just take off. You got to set an example. You got to set the example. Hey, Jordan came up to me. He was after practice, like, hey, daddy. All my teammates said they scared of me. I'm like, good. I'm like, why? I'm like, you gotta, you gotta make an example out of him. He <laughs> gotta be the sacrifice. When you yell at us, everybody, they're like, oh, what that mean? Like, y'all listen. You wouldn't have to get yelled at. Hey, look, That's you gotta, thing, like, you gotta sacrifice oh. him. You have to. You gotta, set, you gotta make an example <laughs> out of somebody. Hey, when he come up there and mess up. I told y'all y'all was going to run. Take off. They're going to be like, oh, Lord. He took off on his say. You know he'll do to us? Like, yeah. Hey, look. It's look, it's <laughs> look, these, I don't mean to say this, but these Hawaiian, like the Hawaiian kids are special. They're like, they're like South Florida, South Florida hood kids times 12. So it's like Duval kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, they were they were some Duval kids, I think. So what they be doing? Shooting in the practice or something? What? No, they're not. They're not that bad. I'm talking about. <laughs> they, 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 it yeah. ain't too much further to go from where we at. Like <laughs> right. <laughs> like um, just no. It's just that they they're you fighting coaches. Mind and mouth, <laughs> mouths. That's one thing about it, though. They respect everybody on the team. It's like has the utmost respect for all the coaches. Like, it's crazy. 
out, like, they just see you everywhere. Like, if I'm in the grocery store, hey, coach, what's going on? How you doing, coach? Coach, coach, coach. I'm yeah, like, that'll follow you. That'll follow you the rest of your life. I'm like, huh. Being a coach. Being a coach is like, I got grown men calling me coach when they see me. <laughs> I got NFL players calling me coach when they see me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. So hey. Like, yo, man. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> yo. <laughs> Try to give him the proper yo. My bad. What they do, man. What they do. It's your boy, Joe, man. We back again. Another episode. You look like a podcast. Season two, episode 11. Ooh. Dick, dick, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear that? I don't have anything that's connected to the. That's I don't have anything that's connected. It has to be okay. your side. <laughs> if y'all hear that, drop it in the comments. Every time you hear, dick, dick, <laughs> and yo, man, hey, season two, episode eleven. You know what I mean, we rocking and rolling, moving right along. In the place to be, Deji, what's going on, my brother? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Yeah, it's like, it, it, and it go away for a long time, and then yeah. it just come back. I'm trying to figure out. I don't have anything. I don't have anything connected. Let me look at, see if it's one of my drives. I don't it's know. usually a USB that's making that. Like, I don't different. have any. Only USB I have connected are my um, microphone and my camera. And neither one of those are disconnected. Mine is, I just got my mic connected and that's, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully y'all don't hear that. Is it my mic? No. Well, we're we going we gonna to make it do what it do. Yeah, we're going to work with it. Hey. Yes, what's going on, man? Nothing, man. Nothing. Nothing much. Just chilling, man. Ready to get out of the house again. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely need to make something happy soon. Yeah, man. Cool. Another good Sunday. You know, shout out to that boy Dana. As always, long live Big Norm. Long live the big homie. Y'all know what it is, man. But hey, we just here chilling, man. Another good Sunday. Um, just talking about that boy Coach K finally hanging it up. And they did y'all did y'all see did y'all see the game or did y'all see the crowd at the game? Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, it was like eighty thousand people. Man, the tickets there was the tickets no, was no, no no they said the highest paid ticket was like eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, them tickets was ridiculous. It was it was it was so much capacity in that stands. You know all, all going to Duke, Duke University. What in the world is happening? But um, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 but yeah, like, that, like, that, them tickets were them tickets were hot hot commodity commodity. Yeah, everybody was in that joint. Boys took that L, go Tar Heels. Even though I can't name nobody on North Carolina team right now, I can't so, name I, nobody. I, in watched, college, I, I can't name nobody college, in college basketball. I ain't watched college a uh, college basketball game in about five years. That's a shame. That's a I think shame. The last man. college game I watched, Zion, um, Zion Williamson tore his shoe up. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably that's probably the last. That was the last time that I watched basketball was when Zion Williamson, Cam Reddish, and R.J. Barrett were at Duke. At Duke. So who won the championship last year? Um. Arizona? I don't know. Juwan Howard. Michigan? Did Michigan win it? Championship? I think they won it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Let, let me look it up. Google. I have no idea. That's a good question. That's a shame. Yeah. That's a shame. college basketball that fell off so bad. Yeah. But that's because, you know, ain't nobody, ain't nobody staying no more. Baylor so. won it. Hmm? Baylor won it in 2021. 
Mandarin. I thought you said Mandarin. I was about to say what? <laughs> Taylor won it. Oh, yep. Who did they beat? Um, they beat. Did they beat Gonzaga? Sounds, sounds about white. Hey, Gonzaga got that um. The white Kevin yeah, Durant. It was, it was Gonzaga. That ta- that seven foot, seven foot one dude, Chet. Oh, ain't he like seven three? Yeah, seven he, three one fifty. What's his name, Chet? <laughs> yeah, or something like that, or Chet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched. I actually watched. Um, I think it was like one of the first games of the season, Duke against Gonzaga, like. It was in like the preseason, one of the preseason classic tournaments or something like that. Mm-hmm. And him and Duke got a dude on their team. I forgot his name, but they was going at it. I think they're going to be like the, the first two picks in the draft. But outside of that, man, co- yeah, college basketball, there ain't no oh, stars cool. like. Because nope. all the stars are getting paid now. Yeah, they, well, they, they, it, that whole one and done thing now is like, or not even one and done, like. Like you could come out of high, you could be 17 years old in high school making a million dollars. Why are you gonna go play for college? And then well, at 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 this point, that's even if you ask me, that's even more of a reason to go play for a college. Now you re- now you really can uh get your plan B in place. You know, because now all the you know, all the all the athletes are into everything else. So if but you can make a million dollars to go. They're getting paid. They're getting paid already to play basketball. I know, but this is what I'm saying. Yeah, so because okay, not everybody. Everybody is is, you know, after after sports, you looking to do something else. Like you know what I mean. Everybody's into that now. So now you can legit get paid a million dollars to play college basketball and get your degree in whatever it is you plan on doing after basketball. But most of these kids don't care about degrees now that they're coming in making, having, having that, that money in their pocket. Well, I would say the top kids the don't top care. Kids don't care about the degrees. Yeah, the top, the top kids. kids at the top colleges, but like... Look at, like, Mike, really? like Mikey Williams. What's what, the point what of What grade he in? Mikey Williams is... I think he's... He's a senior this year. Senior. Dang, did he get yeah. held back a couple of times? He seemed like he'd been in high school for like because he was, when you started watching him, he was in middle school. He yeah. ain't that good though. Yeah, well, his game, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. He be hooping, but it it's like I don't see anything that's like he's just that dominant. You know what I mean? Like he has he, I don't know. He has a high IQ game. When he's playing and his skill set. It's like he has all the skills that he has everything that you need. He has vision, dribbling, dribbling. He has the athleticism, and he has that 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 Mamba mentality that I'm going to shut you down. Mm. You know but I mean? he don't shut nobody down. Every <laughs> time I see my, it be like Mikey Williams versus somebody. Mikey Williams, thirty seven. Somebody, thirty one. Yeah, like. But hey, if it's if it's the uh, person on the other side, it's just as good as him. That's the thing. These young kids, all these young kids, it's amazing the talent that's coming out. Like, hey, I, I just so it just popped in my head. I didn't mean to laugh at it either. I don't know if y'all seen the TikTok, but it was like I ain't paid five dollars for this. It was a game with Hansel, and like <laughs> he, was dribbling, he was getting ripped. <laughs> I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. He's not going hey, anywhere into hey, the pros. Bro, like, <laughs> turn Who's over. Hansel? The one the on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I was like, oh, he can yeah, go. Yeah. All you got to do is make him go to the left. Listen. All you gotta do is make him- he can't cross over. You cannot do a crossover against an elite basketball player with one arm. You might could get him the first time, <laughs> but you ain't getting him again. <laughs> he better get a post up game. <laughs> Yo, that cheeks I had me dying. <laughs> I did not pay five dollars for this. Like, oh my no. <laughs> he's talented. 
Hey, he got his offer. He better take it. He's talented, but yeah, that's a hard. That's a hard. Gotta get his nil deal already. He better hurry up and get that. Oh yeah, he gonna get some. He gonna. No. He pretty sure he is. Yeah, something. I mean, he's definitely gonna get something from that, but he ain't gonna get that much playing time. But see, like somebody like him, somebody like him, Penny, Penny, and you White get Mike, your... Penny and White Mike are not gonna are not gonna play him over the players that they have now. But that see, this is what I'm saying. Somebody like him, bro. You can get that nil deal, go to college, and get you a degree or something. Like yep. you know what I'm saying. And you can and you're still on the basketball team. Cause and there's no rush for you to leave. You know what I mean? To go try and chase that money. It's gonna be hard for him to make the league with one arm. Boy, after that highlight, <laughs> it might be over. <laughs> Telling me that he that he could do it. I said he could play college. He could get a scholarship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said he was gonna get a D one offer, but boy, but in, NBA that's NBA by way it in there, right there. Yeah. He might look, look, look. He he can't even sign with overtime. He hasn't. Even, he didn't even sign with overtime. Man, overtime signing everybody. <laughs> that's a, but but I don't know, man. I don't know. College college is in a bad spot, but. It's th- like it's still Coach K retiring, but it's still like I don't know who who left in college that's coach. Um, Izzo, Michigan State. Izzo still there, yeah. Mister Pimp slapped himself. Oh, um, what's <laughs> that? Um, <laughs> uh, He's about to fire out. <laughs> what's he he, like he wanted to rip his face off. <laughs> He no, did. Right? He did. He wanted. He wanted to. He wanted to pull his face <laughs> off. Something about his black mama. Yeah, That's he cool. wanted. Ah, boy, mom. Ah, but like <laughs> Warren Howard to get that bad and look like he wanted to rip the dude face off. That rip dude. That dude said something about his black mom and used the n word. Nah, he, well, he should have said it. If, if, he, if he, he should have no, said he, it in the press no, conference, just, that dude said that. <laughs> no, he t- said he touched me. That's what he said. He touched he me. Said, I didn't like the way they used the timeouts. <laughs> yeah, and he what? touched me. Yeah, because they were getting, they were blowing them out. And for some reason, he was trying to be professional. But you can't be that mad from how nah. somebody gets the timeout. Look, if you if you getting blown out, and they calling timeouts to blow you out even more, especially if you know you coaching and your players just out there bull, he probably was so mad, and then Buddy grabbed him. At the end to try and say something to him, he was like, "Well, you get your motherfucking hands off me!" Like he was so mad. Like, what? That's all I was waiting for was somebody to touch me. <laughs> the thing is, it wasn't the head coach that he slapped. It was an assistant. It was a whole coach. different person. It was a whole different coach. <laughs> you like? Me. Why are you? Why are you touching me? He didn't want. He didn't want to shake hands at the end of the game to begin with. No. And then you gonna try and touch me and talk to me? Yeah, he tried. Yeah, he wanted to. The other head coach moved on, and then his assistant coach followed followed Jamal Howard up there, and you and how how dare you touch me? You ain't even the head coach. How dare you touch me? <laughs> <laughs> he was still thinking, I can't punch him. Yeah, like he, he still that had that thought. Made, yeah, I can't punch, punch him. But he did make it. He made. Well, I will. Game. I will pull the skin off your face. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta. I gotta do something harder than a slap. <laughs> but I can't punch him. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Juwan, yeah, Juwan House. Um, Syracuse coach still out there. Uh, I think so. Behind. 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 Behind yeah. yeah. Mr. Two Three Zone, Beheim. That's another good coach. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know who else. The Gonzaga coach. I never know his name. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who they coach is. Yeah, so Jim Beheim. Jim Beheim is the highest tenured coach. Now he is. No, he was before <laughs> he retired. Jim Beheim has been coaching um, in, at Syracuse for 42 years. Good gosh. So it's Coach, coach K was coaching for 42. K, coach K has been coaching for, well, what, when was this at? This is in 2017. And Beheim was at 42 years. Coach K was at 38 years. 
Jeez. He's at something now. Yeah, Lee. You don't get tired of coaching? Like, go sit down somewhere. Um, I ain't doing nothing for 50 years. Coaching is life. Oh, jeez. I mean, you what's the point? You must you must really love that job. You must really love, you have to really love that job, the coach, for 50 years. Yeah. And how do you keep up with like the changing of hiring younger staff? <laughs> you hire younger assistant coaches. Yeah. Form, your former players. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's always one on the team. Yeah. yeah. You was good enough to make the team. This way the road stops for you. But listen, you'll be a hell of a coach. <laughs> you'll be a hell of a coach, my boy. Tom Izzo, Mark Few for the Gonzaga. Um, Villanova coach, Jay Wright. Yeah, we don't know much about basketball coaches. <laughs> I do know. I did. Did y'all see the letter that um, Coach K has sent to Jordan? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. Can you imagine yeah. if Mike would have went to Duke and, and, and was. I understand why he went to North Carolina because um, North Carolina coach at the time had was had been at North Carolina forever, and that was Coach K's first year as a head coach. I'm not mistaken. Dean, Dean Smith is definitely a goat. Yeah. He's definitely, he's definitely on the on that Mount Rush Mount Rushmore. If Coach Mike Jordan, James Worthy, um, Sam Perkins, Sam Perkins, Stackhouse, um, Rasheed Wallace, <laughs> Vince Sanity, yeah, Vince Carter, Coders, yeah, Antoine, Antoine, that was a squad back then. Yeah, yeah, Coda, yeah, Coda, Shamar Williams, wasn't Julius Peppers, wasn't it? That was like the last. Julius one. Peppers yeah, was on the bench. Yeah, yeah. Ed Coda was. I used to like watch him hoop. Oh yeah, Ed Coda. Ed Coda and Shamar Williams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dean, Dean, Dean held it down. Yeah, um, Roy Williams. Yeah. Roy was, yeah, at, right. Roy was at Kansas, right? Yeah, and then he went he was to at North Kansas, Carolina. Then he went to North Carolina. Yeah, one one with that squad. With um, I don't know. That's who was on that squad. It was um, is it Marcus Williams? What's his name? Marvin Williams. Marvin Williams. Yeah, and light skin, short, little baby, baby Barkley. What was his name? Sean. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sean May, Sean May was on that team. Yeah, yeah, and, Ty- and um, who's yeah, the other guy? Yeah. He, is he still in the league? The other guy, um, point guard. <laughs> yeah, he played on that team. Um, dang, you know, you know who I'm talking about. But I can't remember the name. Yeah, I can't remember. He played in the league for a while. I can't remember who was what on year, What year was that? What year was that championship? Who knows? Like, mm-hmm. like 06? I don't know. Was he, close to Jay- he left the Jayhawks in 03. Yeah, it might have been. It might have been like two thousand six, two thousand seven, when they won the championship. So, who would you put on the? Who would you put on the Mount Rushmore of college coaches? Yeah, Coach K, Dean Smith. Who else? Uh, I do Izzo. Izzo. What about John Thompson? Yeah, from um, Georgetown. From Georgetown. Yeah. No, because he never win nothing. What about Billy Donovan? Billy could be up there. Bi- but Billy won with what's the name? Didn't he? You don. That was the no. no Billy was- won with Florida. Florida. Yeah. yeah. Back, back. back to back. With um, Corey Brewer and and Joe and, Kim and, Noah. Joe Kim Noah. Al Horford. Yeah. 
Uh, who else? Um, what what's my man that was throwing the chairs? Um, oh, Bobby Bobby Knight. Knight. <laughs> oh Indiana. <laughs> Oh, they won in 09, North Carolina. They won in 05. The Florida Gators won in 05. I don't know what you're looking at. NCAA <laughs> Tournament Champions, 2005, 2009, 2017. Man. But, yeah, I don't I – don't, I don't follow college like that. It, was, it, look, it, it looks so like it looks so weird in college now. Like the dude for Duke that I was talking about is probably gonna be top two pick. He like six eleven. Mm-hmm. He's like the point guard. Like he get <laughs> he get the rebound and just come down, call the ISO. I'm like, what? This not Duke basketball. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why Coach K like, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm out of here. Like it's it's changing. Yeah, it's I can't do this. Much. Coach K like this look like uh this look like when I coached the Olympic team. <laughs> yeah, I can't do this foolishness. <laughs> but who's on the Mount Rushmore NBA coaches? Who's your Mount Rushmore? I got Phil. Pop. Uh, Phil, Pop. Got to put Pop and Phil up there. Uh, what about Pat Riley? Pat's been winning for a while. He that as, was, as a coach, though. He didn't win that much as a coach. Yes, he did. He, won with the he was coaching the Magic. I mean, the Lakers, I mean. He was coaching yeah. the Showtime Lakers. Oh. Yeah. Yes, he was the head coach of the Showtime Lakers. And you and know he Miami. Might, he might he might have won he might have won in New York you know it, for he, the caught, he caught yeah he caught you know he, he, was in, he was in that era where nobody ate he was part of the starvation <laughs> <laughs> then he yeah then he got got with the Heat and they won 06. Heat. yeah so Pat Phil. Pop and hmm. Hmm. Yeah, is that dude you was talking about in North Carolina was it Raymond Felton? Yes. Raymond Felton. <laughs> uh, Raymond. <laughs> oh Raymond. I never I liked Raymond that Felton. Game. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't like his game. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> you know Tyler Hansborough? Um Jersey is retired in North Carolina. Psycho T. Did he win a national championship? Yeah, I think he won in two in two thousand nine. Yeah, two thousand nineteen. He he might be on like the leaderboard for rebounds or something. Oh, Psycho T used to be balling. You know who I hate? Christian Layton. No, I'm not. A- <laughs> oh, I, don't I thought you to- said who I hate. <laughs> I, hate, I hate what they did with with um, Christian Layton. But I really hate, and he's the only person from Jacksonville that I don't call. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, Grayson Allen. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a turd. He was a turd in high school. Turd in high school. He was a turd in college. He's a turd now. That, that dude, I, I do not like him. As he just missed the layup, as you said that. I do not like him. He gets on my nerves. <laughs> he took out what we call it, um, buddy with the balls with the headband, broke his wrist. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's dirty. Yeah. And he he looked like he looked like he he know he be playing dirty. Yeah. <laughs> like he he didn't do anything wrong. He oozes <laughs> he oozes white privilege. Oh, <laughs> that is a that is a fact. That is a fact. He it's definitely on, does. It's on my <laughs> last nerve. Like he, he looked like he'd be quick to say, "Do you know who my father is?" Yes, <laughs> yes, he will say that. <laughs> he will say that. 
you know who my father is? Man. Yeah, we only got three people in our Mount Rushmore of coaches in NBA. Oh, it's, so it's Pat Riley. It's Greg Popovich. Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson. Hey, I, hey, I got to put, gotta put Steve Kerr up there. I was about to say Steve <laughs> Kerr. Got to put Kerr. But even though, even though Kerr is reaping the rewards of, of, um, what's his name? Mark Jackson. Yeah. But hey, here's the thing. Just like in the NFL, you know, you remember how good the Bucks were with under Tony Dungy. And when Tony Tony went, they couldn't win until they got the right coach. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Steve Kerr is a pretty good coach. Just, I, you know, why Steve Kerr is a good coach? Because he, he was he played under Popovich. And he played under Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson, yeah. He he was that <laughs> he was that player. And look, he was that player in the NFL. I mean, and he, that made it to the NBA. Hey, yeah. you're not going to the Hall of Fame, my guy, but you can be a hell of a coach. <laughs> <laughs> and look, Steve Kerr is going to be in the Hall of Fame. And, and I got coach, and yeah. I got to put my dog out there, Coach Spo. Got to put Coach yeah, Spo. Spo. Yeah, Coach Spo. Hey, Spo, Spo need another ring. Spo got to give him another ring. If he can get a ring with this squad, like during this this time of this in this league, yeah. Well, they yeah. already put him on the top fifteen coaches of all time. Yeah, yeah. He's, I, I, mean, I, would, I, I would say that. He, I mean, the thing about Spo, he worked his way up from he was the video coordinator. <laughs> He was the video coordinator for Miami Heat and worked his way up to head coach. That's like somebody. That's like somebody going from being in the mail room of a of a Fortune 500 company and becoming CEO. A, oh. <laughs> what about to becoming an underwriter, like the head underwriter? Like, uh, shout, like shout out to that boy Dana. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Spoke Spo definitely worked his way up. What what y'all think about Doc Rivers? I like Doc. I like Doc Rivers. I wouldn't put him up there as a, as a top coach, but I do like him and I like his coaching style and and how he's the thing I like about him and Steve Kerr is that they're hardly ever serious during um any kind of interview. You know what I mean? Like they might be looking serious, but there's what they say. <laughs> like what he said, they asked him, like, what was your um main reason for getting um Seth Curry? Was it Seth Curry? You have bring Seth Curry over here, like, I just want to be closer to my daughter and my my grandson. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> but he um Doc Rivers is definitely one uh, 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 up there. Yeah, top coaches. Yeah, he just got around. He got to win some more another ring or something. Yeah, he blew it with the he blew it with the Clippers. Everybody who was affiliated with that Clippers team blew it. That wasn't they all got that statement. I had nothing to do with him. Anybody that was on that was on that team or a part of it, they all got a they all got a stain on their jacket. Yeah. Yep. I think it's all because of um playoff P. No, oh, this is before oh, playoff oh, P. Not, not that clip. No, not that clip. Talking about, he talking about Chris oh, Paul. All right, Chris Paul. Yeah. Lob Chris City. Oh, Lob City Clippers. Got yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no they it's they were supposed to they were supposed to go on that run the the Warriors had. That was supposed the to Warriors be that was supposed to be, yeah, that was supposed to be their run. They were supposed to beat the Warriors and and you know take over for a couple of years. Yeah, they had every they had everything. They had everything like. But they, have, they ain't have Steph Curry <laughs> or Clay Thompson. But they they look, had Chris Paul. Yeah, Clay, that's what I'm saying. DeAndre Jordan and DeAndre Jordan, Karan what about coming off the bench? Jamal, Jamal Crawford, Crawford, Crawford. Yeah, Turkaloo on that team. They had a they had a squad like 
just couldn't get it done. Like I, <laughs> they couldn't beat the Spurs or the Warriors. <laughs> Nobody could guard Ginobili. Speaking of the Spurs, y'all seen they were talking about Tony Parker um, not making top 75 and Russ and Dane making it. That's I I think that that is that's why I think that 75 list is is trash. Yeah, they should have got rid of all the old white people on that list. There's right? no way, there's no reason why, there's no reason why um David Robinson and Tim Duncan make it. But the point guard that was on their team that contributed so much to those championships didn't? Um, well, the reason why is the top 75 greatest players. They got grandfathered in. Dame, well, no, not even. Dame and Russ are way better than Tony Parker, like, as far as players. Like, like Tony Parker, Tony Parker did his job on that, on that team. The reason David Robinson and Tim Duncan made it is because yeah, they, they were like the the MVPs. The like they were, yeah. yeah, they were like, you know what I mean? Tony Parker was a just like that's just like um nobody from the Pistons making. Because they were they were a great team, but none of those players outside of Rasheed Wallace, none of them players were just like gonna just dominate a game by themselves. You know what I mean? Rick Hamilton was dominant. No, he wasn't. The only dominant player on that team was Ben Wallace, and he was dominant on defense. Yeah, Rip, Rip, Rip. He 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 did his job extremely well. They they he said averaged, he, he ran off screen. Yeah, he averaged by seventeen. <laughs> Tayshawn averaged by seventeen. Chauncey averaged by eighteen. Like that, they were a, a great team, but yeah, that's that's how I feel about by Tony Parker. Like, if you put Tony Parker on that OKC team, they're gonna be better than than Russ on that team. Yeah, would he average a triple double? Yes, they would. No, but they'll be better. That team would be better. <laughs> they would be better. <laughs> but what? So what? They gonna make the second round of the playoffs? <laughs> they gonna be better than the team that wrestles on. Yeah, but, but what 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 did, were they gonna win a championship? Was his like? It will go farther than if that. he were if he was on if he was on Portland team instead of Dave. But they would like they wouldn't have they wouldn't have would they would have made it to the second round of the playoffs. Like Tony Parker, Tony Parker is not not that guy. He's I would put a lot of people on there before I put Tony, but I take a lot of people off there. Yeah. But yeah, like not, now, look, that was a bad comparison to put them two and Tony yeah. Parker. Yeah. Now it is a bunch of names on there that like I would they the Busher, I don't know who he is, the Busher. <laughs> um Shays, whoever Shays is can go. Bob Pettit, old self can go, like. Bill Walton could go. <laughs> Bill Badfoot Walton could go. Um, George George McCann. I don't even know who Mike. Yeah, he can, go. Yeah, he can yeah. go. yeah, he can go. Yeah. Um, Mike or McCann, whatever his name is. <laughs> both Matt, both of them can go. Yeah, both of them. That's like, there's so many people I can take off of that list. Like, yeah, it'll be a it it'll be a few people making on that before Tony Parker too though. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely Mac and Vince Carter. They had a um, Clay Thompson. <laughs> they had. I was watching. It was like right around the All Star. They had some type of draft on the uh, on TNT. Oh yeah. And they had um, T Mac. Uh, who was T Mac? Vince, Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard should be on that and, list. And think Dwight Howard should be on that list. Yeah. And it was somebody else. They had four people that were like alternates. I guess I guess should have made the top 75. Mm-hmm. They had them like added onto the list and they were doing drafts. Yeah, I think I think George Mikan got left off. I don't think nobody picked him. Like Dwight Howard, like if 
Dwight Howard had like a five year stretch where he was one of the top three players in the league. Yeah, that is true. That is true. He was (laughs) offense and defense. Yep. Yep. He was just bad. That that, that, that Jameer Nelson and Dwight Howard combination was almost unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah. They used to be, they used to be. That was a show. Jameer Nelson, Jameer Nelson was like shorter than me. He's like five yeah. nine. Remember we remember we walked he past him in the, uh, in the mall in Orlando. <laughs> yeah. Remember we was in Orlando in the mall when he walked past him. Like, hey, that's yeah, that's what Jameer Nelson looked like. He was rolling past us. Yeah. <laughs> he was he was so small. They got him listed as they got him listed as six foot. What six foot six one? Yeah, he ain't that tall. No, no. Yeah, that's like um, what's his name, Lowry? <laughs> he looked all the, all the six one. They got he listed like what? six three or something like. Yeah, that. they got him like six three, six four. Hey, he, Mark Lowry is about six one six. Because y'all see him, <laughs> play, y'all see him playing against um Kevin Hart. See that clip of him playing against Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart blocked his shot. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Kevin Hart came out to Mike Lowry's chest. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Hart is Hold legit 5'2". Kevin Hart is Judean. You, you say Mike Larry? Yeah, he said Mike Larry. <laughs> I did he say Mike, Mike Larry. Larry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was oh, like, Michael. I don't think that's his name, but I'm going to let him run with it. <laughs> Why did I say Mike Larry? I don't know. Because he in Miami with the bad voice. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Man, Mike Lowry, y'all just let me go with it. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I'm so mad. I got a cheer for Kyle Larry. Like, <laughs> I just be watching. Like, just don't mess up. And then he hit a clutch. <laughs> so I know, like, right? <laughs> so they Dang. only got him. Look, they only got Lowry. Lowry is listening to six feet tall. Six feet? Yeah, he's listening to six feet. That's legit. That means he, that mean he about five, five ten. <laughs> no, he's taller than that. Y'all Google the video of him playing basketball against Kevin Hart. Man, Kevin Hart, like 4'11. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, because I think he might be a certified midget. Kevin Hart is 5'2. Kevin Hart is the same height as, as... Lil Duval. <laughs> Lil Duval might be taller than him. Lil no, they Duval. had they were in the room five, together. Five, and they standing were... behind, standing back to back. And they were they the, were the same... same exact height. <laughs> It's crazy. They're so tiny. You're such a tiny human being. So I tiny. I don't. I can't imagine being that small as an adult. Look, I'm. I'm not. I'm not the biggest adult in the world. But them niggas small compared to me. <laughs> they little. They real little. They are little. Look, the smallest uh, person, like one of the smallest people that I know, like dudes that I know, is um Alex. And Alex is like five five. <laughs> Alex no, not five five. Alex, like five. Alex and Dana like the same size. How how, how tall are they? How tall are they? <laughs> like five eight five nine. Oh, yeah. Dante is five six five five. <laughs> <laughs> <Ten years short. laughs> five five. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah. It's a uh who else um what's the comedian shouty shouty? Oh, my name. Yeah. Short yeah. We see like, him yeah. in, in in Atlanta. He was extra small too. Like you would be surprised how tall these celebrities are. Like um Ghost from Power. He like five seven. <laughs> yeah. So ludic- so it's ludicrous. Yeah, I'm like, y'all really T. I, this little? T. I, like T.I. is the high is like five six, five seven. All the pretty Ricky. <laughs> all of them. All, all of B2K. All of B2K. <laughs> all the pretty well, the dude, the dude with the dress is pretty Ricky. He's normal size. He's like normal height. <laughs> but the rest of them, um, Pleasure P like five nine. The other two like five five, like they like tiny, tiny. What's like, oh name? look at oh, it's pretty Ricky. Oh they're so <laughs> small. <laughs> Little, little out here, but 
Bro, just imagine, but imagine, imagine how hard Muggsy Bogues had to go. Oh my God, I can't imagine. <laughs> I couldn't Is imagine five three league? just living a normal Is, life. Is he a Hall of Famer? Muggsy Bogues a Hall of Famer? No, yeah. he averaged like seven points a game. <laughs> <laughs> but he did. In the, he did. In the hardest seven points. Yeah, in the it's hardest it's, seven points, he should make that. <laughs> He should make that for that being the hardest seven points to ever be averaged. Like, yeah. Boy. <laughs> How many points y'all think y'all can average in the NBA? <laughs> Me? Right now? <laughs> like, right now? Or if I played in the NBA from like, a yeah. younger age? Yeah, like it, it, like a younger age. A younger, younger age? age? When oh, you was in your about, prime. I mean, average about 10, 10 to 12. You think you can get 10 to 12 in the NBA? Mm. Gonna be on the bench like, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Look, I'm hey, I might only get I might only get five minutes a game, but I'm gonna make those five minutes count. Oh, but I, I'm gonna average five Wait. rebounds. Believe that's Wait, believe you gonna average. Hold on, you gonna average ten points in five minutes a game? Yep. <laughs> Boy, listen. Boy, they take you straight out. <laughs> <laughs> Think he that gonna be gonna get that. <laughs> full speed, full speed for the five minutes. No, I'm Legit good for one. Shooting I'm everything. good for one spectacular play, and I'm done. It got to be the first play, dude. It got to be the yep. first play when you get in. Like, give me the rock. I'm, <laughs> you can't stop me. That boy, dude, okay. you know, super Saiyan mode. The first play of the game, just he's either gonna be he's either gonna score, or it's gonna be an offensive foul. <laughs> one of the two, one one of the two, oh, nothing man. else. Especially when he had his when he had his dress. <laughs> <laughs> his dress made him look like he moved super fast. <laughs> hey, I was moving fast. <laughs> but actually that one play after that, I'm tired. He's like, <laughs> like one, yeah, one little jab step and then go. <laughs> <laughs> he had the rack. He had he had the rack. <laughs> hey, if he missed, he gonna get the offensive rebound. He's gonna get the yeah. tip back. That energy still be it still be there. Back in the day, like when I was about about 20, 21, 22, brand new in the military, I think I could have because I think I could have um I could have averaged 10 points a game. Not at not with five minutes playing five minutes a game, but I 10 points and about four or five rebounds a game. Mm, not me. Just because I like I'm a two and five. I'm a two and five <laughs> player. <laughs> like I could like my, my Call me vertical, baby Dennis Robin. My vertical is stupid. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm with Dez. I'm probably I'm probably gonna give you two or three, and then I'm probably I'm probably gonna give you one steal and about five assists. Though I'm gonna dish that bit. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dish it now. <laughs> I'm gonna find the open man. Well, Pick and roll something. <laughs> I'm gonna get some rebounds. I'm a I, I'm a position <laughs> myself to get some rebounds. If if nothing, if I don't do anything else, I'm gonna get that ball for real. <laughs> You know what I don't understand? Why do teams keep cutting Isaiah Thomas? <laughs> because he's five six. But the thing is, every time he gets cut and picked up on another team, he helps that he literally scores 20 something points and help the team win. And then they cut him. Listen, hey, Lakers, the Lakers cut him and signed DJ Augustine. So that told me all I need to know about Isaiah Thomas at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, why did he sign a singer? They, they might as well. And they was, bro. He had to do that mess with, um, mess with Will White. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Frank Vogel is the worst coach, bro. This man was playing. He had DJ Augustine, Bradley, um, what's buddy name? Bradley, uh, Avery Bradley, Russell Westbrook. Avery Bradley um, still for the Lakers? Yes. Um, what's buddy name? Horton THT. Oh, Tucker. And, yeah. <laughs> and Melo. That was the, that was the five he had on the court. I said they blame Russ. You know, hey, you know what? Uh, <laughs> in order for the Lakers to win, they need grandfather grandfather James to score 59 points. 50, 50 plus points a game. 
in order for them to win anything. That boy was in order for them fire. to win anything, they need the top 12 players in the West to tear the ACLs. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, win a game. In order for them to win a game, period. <laughs> that's what they need. And that's yeah. bad. LeBron is 37 years old, for almost 40 Bruh, years old. Listen, it's it, for, it so the, the number one person that's at fault for the Lakers being sorry is Anthony Davis. Yes. So he's number one. Yes. Because he's, he's supposed two. to be he's supposed to be the number one option. You know what I'm saying? So LeBron can like kick back and just yeah. play reserve. Yeah. Yeah. So he's number one. Frank Vogel is number two. The coach, because he Anybody who will put in that five, that lineup, <clears throat> yeah, you got to be number two. I was looking at it. I'm like, why? Like, how? This don't even go together. Like, they, they don't even go together. Number three, I hate to say it, goddamn Russ. Like, <laughs> the thing about Russ is he don't, he don't think he's playing bad. Man. Like his press con- he's so super cocky during the press conference. It's like, I wasn't paying attention. You know, I was just out there playing. Man. But it, the bad thing about it is number four, Le, LeBron is number four, though. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all see LeBron, LeBron be playing? Bro, I don't watch so many plays. LeBron just literally watch the man just run right by him and lay the ball up. And he'd be like, and he look at everybody else like, <laughs> no, you supposed to rotate. Oldest, LeBron is the oldest person in the NBA. Bro, that's like he deserves like, to be able to look past, look at somebody run past him. His younger, look, his younger um, teammates supposed to step up and stop that dude. Wait, so the game when they just played Golden State, when he got the eight second violation bringing the ball up, he oh, gonna look God. at Malik Monk, Monk talk about come back to me, come back to you. No, just dribble the ball up court. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> like what are you talking about? He's gonna see that. He <laughs> oh. He was hot by that too. Come back to me. Hey, when hey, when what's the name? What's that? Reggie Jackson that crossed um that crossed West West. West was so mad. Try he kicked him, tried to trip him. <laughs> Had to. Had to. Had to. Gotta put that foot out. And then and then and then I don't know what he said, but it looked like he was like, oh really? That's how you feel. Like when, when Jackson was celebrating and yelling. <laughs> like, you don't get mad because you just got yeah. crossed up. No, people get crossed up every day, B. Ain't nothing new. <laughs> What's the name? Every That's day. Trash. Trash. There's no way. Yeah, possible. I don't know what. There's no way possible. I don't know what he got going on. No way possible. He's happy he's home. home. He's in his home. He's in his home state. He he's does, happy. Look. He got his right. wife and kids. You see them every day. Hey, like he said though, there was some truth to what he said. I done been on four different teams the past four years. I ain't got no expectation. I truly believe that. I truly believe, despite what everybody saying, he broke it down like that. Like, yeah, Brian, you got to think. I averaged a triple double three straight seasons, and I've been on four teams in the past four years. What the hell? I'm finna just go out here and play. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. And that's, and that's exactly what he looked like he be doing. He just throw the ball away and be like. Or run full speed and just try to do a no-look pass to the coach on the other team. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Man, he came through the lane yesterday so smooth, just looking like old Russ, just uh, uh. Layup just fell short, bro. Just like everything just going wrong for us. Like, oh man, he need to slow down. That's all it is. He just need to yeah. slow down, bro. It, it, it at this point ain't no hope for us. Like I say, cause he be looking extra bouncy, just over everybody. Just can't make the layup. It's just, it's just, it's just <laughs> looking bad. No, we ain't get to talk about the um. The combine, yeah. That's a hey, these players. It, it must be something in the water this year. So must be something. Everybody was moving. Everybody from offensive line to <laughs> to 
running back to quarterback, they were they were all flying. Yeah, it was a corner ran. What do you ran a four two three today? Which one? Um, I forgot what I forgot what school he went to, but yeah, some corner he ran a four two three, like the fastest time by a corner. Yeah, in combine history. And what's the name? Ran a ran the ran the well, James Cook. He ran a four four two. He was oh yeah seven tenths faster than his um than his brother. But he ain't better than his brother. I don't no. care what they say. No. He might be quicker. He might be quicker in the 40, but he ain't he ain't Dalvin. He's not, he's not a game changer. Yeah, Dalvin, Dalvin <laughs> was cool. With Dalvin Cook is in the game. At any any given at, moment. At any given moment, <laughs> you always have an opportunity to score. Yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that Jack's better hop on what's him call it. Jordan Davis. It's they, better hop on, they better hop on somebody first pick. Because that mm-hmm. that D that tackle from Georgia ran a four eight. Yeah. Four, is, yeah, four seven, four seven something. Oh yeah, his, four seven his nine. Teammate, his teammate ran faster than him. That was yeah. on the D line. What did Johnson what did Jermaine Johnson do? Like a four five nine, something like that. I, I missed his, but they were talking that defensive end. Mm-hmm. Four five yeah. nine. All the all the DNs are running that. That's stupid. It was a DN that ran a four three eight. That's stupid. <laughs> I was like, these people tripping. Like, how do they expect these big three hundred pound oh, linemen to to block that? Yeah, they, the, the other the other dude nines too. That's the other true. dude from um, the other dude from Georgia. He ran it. He got the fastest time by a three hundred pound at the um, at the combine. Yeah, he ran a four seven seven something like that. Four seven. Yeah. That's that's dumb. Was moving. Um, what's the name? Look good. Um, Malik Willis. Oh yeah, the quarterback. quarterback. He, was throwing, he was throwing him. He the looked dude, like Russell Wilson. From, this um, pass like Russell Liberty? Wilson. Is that what? Yeah, the yeah, Liberty? Liberty. He, he them balls was like. Shoo. Yeah, that deep that those deep passes. Running back, it's like the, it was dropping the running back hands while the running back was doing this, and it was just dropping his hands. He didn't even look back. He just. Ball to be in the sands. Mike Tomlin, be- Mike Tomlin better draft him. You got a def- you got a defense and a running game already. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and draft that boy. Yeah, uh, it's, and it's so many, it's so many receivers out there that could run. Oh, man. Um, this, this is a very fast and receiver heavy draft this year. And the fastest receiver probably didn't even run. That dude from Alabama. Mm-hmm. Williams, yeah, he's the, best, he's the best receiver on the board. He didn't even run. Yeah, he's still healing up. Yeah, he's still healing up. That dude, that dude from that dude from Baylor was a Baylor. Yeah, yeah, he was moving. Yeah, he didn't even he look like he, was, he didn't even look like he was moving that fast. <laughs> he was moving. It's a, it's a it's a this gonna be a good this gonna be a good draft fight. You seen that other dude that they said actually ran like a four like a like a. Like a four one, but the the clock kind of they cheated him somehow because they were, they were showing um a video of him running. He actually they said he ran a four three two, right? But when they slowed down the video, when he crossed the line, it was like four one, and then the clock stopped at like four three two. That's how um that's how what's his name was um Jordan Davis. Mm-hmm. He clocked a four eight something, but then when they went back, they were like he ran a four seven something. It was like they the were time changing a lot of times. Off. They were making they were yeah. changing a lot of times. Like, yeah. I guess the I guess the um the electronic clock was messed up. Because yeah. Johnson from Florida State, he clocked an unofficial four six five, but it dropped it down to like a four five nine. Yeah, they were like everybody, everybody hand thing was 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 faster than the um uh, then, then the machine. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be. It, it's gonna be a lot of. It's a lot of talent out there. Um, like teams like Pittsburgh. What do you think about coming back away from you know being back in the hunt? What do you think about Dallas getting rid of Amari Cooper? Trash, <laughs> trash. <laughs> Shout out to Bubba Doug. Y'all <laughs> trash. <laughs> Mike McCarthy, you beat. Red tomato face, grizzly bear, 
trash. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I saw I saw a post earlier they said they paid they paid Ezekiel Elliott ninety million dollars to n- n- run under thousand yards. <laughs> Average three yards a carry. Average three Bruh. yards a carry. <laughs> Zeke was like Zeke was like sixth in the league in rushing on like a messed up knee half of the season. He still he still was top ten, bro. <laughs> Listen, Mike McCarthy trash, Jerry Jones trash, Kellen Moore trash, bro. It's no reason. It's no reason that offense is underachieving like that. That Prescott. Trash. I will take Amari Cooper anytime in San Francisco. I, look, anybody will take Amari every team. Cooper. Every team is saying that right now. Every one team. team is I know one that. team that he's not going to. Who? He might go to the Jags. He Jags should got that money. He ain't going to the Jags. I mean, the Jags are one of the teams that got enough money to pay him. Yeah, but Jags got enough money to pay him and Devontae Adams. But oh, if they get Devontae, he both of them are. Both of them are are free agents this year, and yeah. Odell and Odell. Odell's a free agent this year too. Don't nobody want Odell. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't I would I would twice. I would. Yeah, he keep and he don't want to and he don't want a Super Bowl already. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, he ain't as hungry. He ain't as hungry. No, you know what no. I mean? And he balled in the Super Bowl, so it ain't like he can be like. Yeah, I want a ring, but I ain't do nothing. No, yeah. nigga, before you got hurt, you was balling like yeah. you know like, what I'm saying. Well, you I was like back. Got hurt. Like, yeah, you, you was back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like if he did, if he did get hurt, he would have been in the race for for MVP behind Cooper Cup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they would have just kept throwing him the ball. Yep. The dude who the dude who came in for him was open on like three three plays wide open. So. Yeah, Odell would have kept eating. So, yeah, that I would. That dog on Cooper though, it's it's crazy. He must be really fast and quick. <clears throat> he know how right. to get open in the zone. Yeah, he he just he just run route. He like like Jerry Rice run routes. Like he's not he's not that he's not fast. Well, he he plays faster than if he actually ran the forty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because if yeah. he ran, if he ran a forty, you'd be like, "Oh yeah, he ain't running away from nobody." But somehow he'd just be running away from people, just <laughs> like on go routes, like not even just like run, he just, just go routes, just open, just <laughs> like oh, like Cooper Cup. <clears throat> How the heck he's, he's open dumb. every play? Every single play he's open. That's what we. That's what we're talking about. We're oh, talk- I thought we were talking about Mari Cooper. No, we're talking about Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. Wide open, just I don't know. Every play, every play, he's wide open, and even the players that they don't hit, target him, he's still open. Man, I can't hey, explain it. Every single well, playoff game, he was wide open every play. Yeah. <laughs> going back to Amari Cooper, sign with the Jaguars so that I can come see you play. And you'll get a chance to play the Cowboys this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jay, Jay yeah. making it hard, boy. Jay making it hard hey, on me. Hey, I like – and but honestly, I know this is just me being a Jaguars fan. I like the coaching staff that they didn't put together. I don't know why. Doug Peterson is not a good coach. I mean, Doug Peterson is not a good coach, but Caldwell is. Jim Bob Cooter is a pretty good coach. Man, Jacks, they are and, and unless they <laughs> the Jacks need to get rid of some people. They need to get they rid can of be general considered manager. good. They need to draft that linebacker from Georgia. Dean. <clears throat> I seen a um I seen a, a mock draft of him going to the Cowboys. Who Dean? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> if they get Dean and Parsons on the same field. <laughs> It's going to be like Patrick Willis and um Navarro Bowman. Yeah, because I don't. I, we're not. We're not re-signing um White Buddy with the bad neck. Vanderish. Yeah, we're not. I don't think we re-signing him. We ain't got enough money, so you know, I'll take that. We still Boy. like every mock draft still got us getting um the um, Evan Neal from from Alabama. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a bad pick. It's not a bad pick. 
not, but we can pick it's, not up. it's not a game changing pick. No, we can we can, it might, up, we can look, he it will protect. Up, we can pick up a, we can pick up a good offensive offensive tackle in free agency. But because it's so wide receiver heavy, you get Neil, and then in the second round you draft a wide receiver. That could be a game change, a game changing combo, Neil Lawrence and that wide receiver. You know what I mean? Like that, that's what they're banking on. Now, if they don't draft a wide receiver with the second pick, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but it's like watching the Jags last year, the offensive line wasn't the problem. It wasn't, a, it wasn't it was the problem. The play at all. calling and the receivers, and the playmakers. Yeah. Yes. But would you draft? But would you draft one of those wide receivers number one overall? Nah, because there's so I'd many. Draft the best. I yeah. would draft the best player on the board, number one overall. And would I don't that care be what that, position? I don't care what be, position. The best player on the board, number one overall. You think that is that is Neil from from Alabama? No, Jordan Davis is the best player on the board. That is true. <laughs> but for some reason, everybody. Jordan Davis or that corner from Cincinnati. He ran like a four four two or something like that. Yes, <laughs> and he's six two. That corner from Cincinnati, <laughs> Jordan Davis, or that linebacker from Georgia. Because watching him in that championship game. Yeah, the Kobe D. He's different. He was all over the field. He was pushing his players. He was pushing his teammates into positions to make a play during the game during the play. Uh, yeah. So this one site has Jack Jacksonville taking um, Michigan's edge rusher. Hutchinson. Yeah. He won't do it. He's not JJ Watt. He's not TJ Watt. He ain't Josh Allen. Hell. Yeah. Who they already got. Like <laughs> or or Chase Thompson. You have a you have a like you have an edge rusher. Already, and there's I don't think there's an edge rusher in the in the draft that's gonna be that much that that's gonna be that much of a playmaker to nope. take him over that left tackle. Man, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, to pick who's gonna pick who? <laughs> right. It is what it is. But Jacks, they need a they need a big defensive lineman in the middle. Yeah, they need somebody that's gonna push and move somebody that and draw attention. They were saying something about um Jordan Davidson. I mean Jordan Davis and uh um John Henderson and Marcus Stroud like something about how the D they D line was um looked up to that D line or something from the Jaguars. Yeah. Like that be- hey that was a good D line though. <laughs> Stroud Stroud played for Georgia too. Yeah Stroud and yeah. Henderson yeah, Jordan Jordan Davis is he's he's definitely different. Like he's, yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know if he's I don't know if he's gonna be Aaron Donaldson. I mean, like Aaron Donald, like like that much of a difference maker. Like, but I think he's gonna be more like uh, the, the, the Sue and Wilford, like that type of like. He's a big run stopper that can rush the passer. Like, yeah. Yeah, that dude, that dude is huge. That dude, that dude is huge. I don't know. I'm ready. I'm ready for the draft, man. I'm, I'm ready for the draft. I'm ready for free agency. Um, like always, y'all know I hate every team equally. Except the Jags. I hate them a little less than everybody. Cause you know. Uh, yeah, I'm in the city. Why not? <laughs> why not want to see them win the Super Bowl and have a parade? Yeah, you know? I want to see them succeed. Everybody don't get to experience that, you know. I can take that little trip downtown. Can you imagine how crazy that parade would be? No, that would be. Can you imagine be being wild. downtown, celebrating with all them homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> Every downtown has a home. Has homeless people. Hey, so like Jackson. <laughs> what they gonna do with them, bro? Like. And y'all gotta clean shit up. They gonna shit, y'all gotta gotta shit up today. Listen, listen, y'all could be y'all could be out here for the parade, but y'all gotta these tents and sleeping bags. Y'all gotta get this shit up off the sidewalk now. <laughs> <laughs> what street would they parade on downtown? 
Union Street? Nah, it's too much traffic. <laughs> They have to. They have to stop the traffic. No, I think they'll do Bay Street. That street by between the stadium and Metro Park. That street. But everything will still be back. Oh, that's going to be backed up. Though. It's going to be a mess. Oh, that's going to be back. The Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, but I, w- I would love to see that. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm definitely at the Dallas Cowboys versus Jacksonville Jaguar game this season. Um it's officially not going to be overseas. So, yeah, I'm in the building for that for sure. For sure. Just like that. That was the first. Um, was that the first NFL game I went to? What, Dallas and Jacksonville? Yeah. 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 With Drew Bledsoe was the quarterback. Yeah. 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 I was scared to see, I was scared to sit in them seats, boy. I was about to get escorted out of there. This is where your daddy got us sitting. Boy, what you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what you way. mean go down there? You got down there by the field. <laughs> just that, just that, that ruined. Hey, that ruined my whole NFL experience because I don't want to sit nowhere else now. Like <laughs> you know what I mean? They be giving out tickets to go to the game. How? <laughs> I would never get caught sitting way up there. You know, you know who I am. The ghetto. <laughs> I know, right? Nosebleed. Oh. Wait until you experience the sweet seats. The clubs. I've, I've been in, I've been in I've been in the club, in the club, uh the club little section. That's that's a different type of experience. That ain't even, right. yeah, it ain't even about like where you sitting it, you know it's just the whole experience of you're in the club and you got access to everything like yeah yeah that's just a whole different vibe right there yeah when i went um we had cabana seats so it was like a tent with like couches and all free food and drinks you could eat half i was like man can't beat it and then there was like a, a ledge where you could just stand up and watch the game <laughs> and lean over the ledge Oh, like, this is great. Yeah, I like I like that. I, I'm you know the you know the sites we use. I'm not gonna plug those sites, but the sites we use to get the, the, the tickets for the football games. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be amongst the amongst the Cowboys nation. I haven't experienced the game, you know, with the with the with the, the true fanatics, but oh yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna wear my mask. I found my mask, so <laughs> definitely gonna be there with the luchador mask on. Turn it to the max. I mean, but yeah, um, fellas, man, another good Sunday. Yep. Appreciate y'all boys' time. As always, man. Um, shout out to the lookers. See y'all a lot there, man. I think we had like 2100. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you see, see, it's trying to connect. You see that? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you, 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 you see that? Is this coming in? It's only been, it's only been a week. <laughs> nah, I say it's only been two weeks. <laughs> Drop the connection on you, Dedrick. You know, I'll be like, oh. Uh. Get that little- catch up, did you catch up? <laughs> I'm giving up. I'm giving up. I tried that her der- the whole derma roller thing. I the pills. I was watching. Uh, 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 I, I was watching. Uh, 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 I be rolling the hell out of that thing. I was watching um this dude because what's his name? Oh, that <laughs> this dude um you know Dan you know Dan the man right? <laughs> dancing Dan. He got a beard line coming out and he was asking questions. He was like. I'm gonna tell you this honestly. If there's an oil or something that you can take that will make your beard grow further, they can charge hundreds and thousands of dollars for that. None of these things really make your beard grow. <laughs> hey, so the only yeah, thing I know is make your beard grow is to make your your beard hair and your face healthy. That's all I know is that I got this going. I got a little something going right here. That's all I know. <laughs> What you say, Dan? Something working. Something working. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to keep doing it. 
<laughs> Dude, look, I stopped because I didn't I didn't have a dip. I didn't see a change and I was doing it for like three weeks. Same Dermar War Derma roll of beard oil and the, and, the, and the beard peels and stuff. Hey, you gotta trust the process, man. Yeah, you gotta I'm trust the process. Like growing dreads. Like growing dreads. Testosterone. <laughs> Maybe my testosterone <laughs> levels are low. Man, bro, you ain't gotta you ain't gotta do that. All you gotta do is, you know, find the right barber. You know what I mean? They'll slap the little pubic hair on there. <laughs> <laughs> A little patchy hair, like <laughs> with the glue. <laughs> slap the big, glue slap the, big, the big pile on there. <laughs> and then shave it down, you feel me? Like, that's, how Mustang, that's how Mustang did, was doing for the first first few years after he retired. Mayweather? <laughs> he like, he got, like he got a nut hair on his face. <laughs> 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 like somebody shaved all, like somebody was manscaping. <laughs> manscaping. He was like, "Oh, let me get that." Get on my face. Like he just, like he just laid on the floor with glue stuck on his face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Under the seat. <laughs> Next to the seat. The barber like, <laughs> <laughs> "What you doing down there? Get your ass up, boy." <laughs> I'm trying to get this beer going. I'm trying to get this connection. <laughs> oh man, bro, I can't believe. Yeah, hey, look, man. Um, no shout out. No, no shout out to the people that be getting those beards. Like, <laughs> we're not shouting y'all out right at all. But um, look, but look. If women, if women can do all this fake, fake hair, fake eyelashes, fake, fake everything. Fake. <laughs> fake everything. Yeah. There should be no reason why you these why anybody should look down on a dude for getting a fake beard. So that's what you that's what you're gonna use to justify yourself coming on one of these podcasts with a I, full I, beard. I, I won't be that dude getting that fake beard. That won't be me. But <laughs> I'm not gonna knock anybody for doing it because these women hey. these women do it. And now, and now that all like all these women talk about, ooh, I want a man with a beard. Hey, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. I saw one post, post speaking of that. <laughs> I saw one post that said, "Men with beards deserve steak for dinner. <laughs> men with no beards get a lunchable." <laughs> and that's why I one, I'm glad I'm married and I don't have to deal with this date. <laughs> <laughs> I take the nachos, please. And thank you with the Capri Sun. <laughs> Shoot, not that's why you ain't got no man. I get the ham and cheese. <laughs> ham and cheese with the, the Oreo cookie. <laughs> I don't eat. I don't eat steak, but shout out to the beer gang though. <laughs> nah, Alex told me if I'm gonna eat my steak well done, I might as well just eat a hamburger. <laughs> that's, that's kind of true. That's, he got a point. That's kind of true. He do got a point. It's, it's, it's probably easier. Like, like, well, at, at least get him. I de- get a medium. I even order. I definitely. I even order my hamburgers medium. You're nasty. Nope. You're <laughs> no pink. Me. No pink, please. Please, no pink in my burger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. No. You're so mad. <laughs> Don't even want to eat this. That's like having pink. That's like having pink in my chicken sandwich. No, it's not. No, it's not. Hey, to me, same, it is. same oh, difference. Oh, oh. There is, look, same difference. I'm gonna die. No, you can eat it like that. No, I, you can eat it like that. <laughs> yeah. I was watching on this show called Next Level Chef, and they were cooking. Like this girl had made this chicken dish. She had made like some kind of chicken in a in a pan and. Was supposed to cook it to the right temperature. So one of the judges dipped in, he was like, hmm, eating it. And then Gord Ramsey cut open the chicken, like, <laughs> as soon as he said that, the other host was just like, hmm. I saw he was like, You ate that? <laughs> Yeah, I was locked in on that show. That was, that was a good show. Yeah, 
Yeah. I'm, like, I, 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 I really like the fact that the final three was two black people and a Native American woman. Hey, but I be watching them shows. I'm like, did they just Rooney rule this show? Like, were y'all really that good, or did they just yeah. like hit us with the Rooney rule? Like, I definitely <laughs> said that. Without, but, but the dude, the dude, <laughs> and the, uh, the dude, he was he was throwing down the whole that time. Nice dude. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. And the um the the girl who won, like yeah. she came along, like you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. It was like once she hit her peak, she was just killing it. So. Yeah. I was like, okay, they, they it might not have been the, the black it. girl, the black lady, she might have been a Rooney Rule. Like yeah, it probably been could have been somebody else in yeah. there. She might oh, but, she just like accidentally snuck in there, like one episode, like she yo. did just enough to win the rest. One episode, she didn't even put her food on the thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. She's like, I don't know, they, I wasn't this, they put their food on the tray. She didn't even put her food, she's still at her station. We're the whole We're the station decorating it. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like, this, well, is- this didn't make the this didn't make the tray, but we still want yeah, you to taste just, it. J- just taste it anyways. And she made it through that round. <laughs> We're gonna have to talk about Rooney Rule on TV, <laughs> TV shows. Yeah, next, yeah. next episode. That's, that's next episode. That's the next episode. It, yeah. Because there's a lot of shows that I watch, especially the reality <laughs> shows. And I got Rooney Rooney real, <laughs> real bad. They don't, they don't be having real, real black people on there. <laughs> it's it just enough so people won't say nothing. Yeah, yeah. just they, enough. They yeah, we're going to have, have a list for y'all, man. But yep. um, Start, yep. hey. I got a few. <laughs> I got one. I got one that was real bad. Shows on, on Netflix, the, the, um, Love is Blind shows and, and, and Too Hot to Handle shows. I hate y'all be you. having wrong black. Y'all be having these little skinny, these little skinny wannabe. Uh, we'll talk about. We'll, we'll talk, talk about, about this. Next Look, so you, we'll you, the, you the reason that mess be coming up in my top top ten? It's because <laughs> you be watching that mess, did? It? <laughs> it ain't my fault you use my long hair. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, but look, another episode, man, fellas. Appreciate y'all. Season two, man, episode eleven. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, hit your bell, drop some comments, man. Share the videos, share the videos, share the videos, so we can get some more people out there. If you just stumble across the video, just hit the thumbs up on your way out. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate that. Um, man, drop a comment on the way out as well. Let us know, you know what I mean, why you stop watching. I don't know. Maybe you ain't like my D-Mac or something. I don't know. Just let us know. You feel me? We talk back. Um, it'll be one of us. If you get a comment from the page, it'll be one of us. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, sometimes I be commenting on my regular um, Google page. Yeah. And I don't be realizing until after it posts. I'm like, oh, that was me. Like, that, was, that was me, me. <laughs> but yeah shout out to the lookers man numbers jumping fellas appreciate y'all time long live big norm long live big norm dana dane what's up my boy yo appreciate y'all watching yo